Chapter 7. Tamala? My best friend yells out my name like her mouth was suddenly on fire. The proper noun leaps from her lips like a five alarm. I jerk my head up in the middle of ironing my work uniform. How the hell had she talked me into doing this? I'm the only girl at Staff Fillers, the cleaning agency that hired me three weeks ago, who wore a crisp, spotless uniform every day. The first time Miranda suggested it, I mean demanded that I take pride in the Doran work outfit, I scoffed and then outright laughed. Who the hell cares how I look as long as the work gets done? She huffed at me in equal disdain. For starters, I do. You can't go into the world looking any old kind of way. What if you run into a billionaire? I blinked my eyes in disbelief and said, while scrubbing down the walls, you gotta be kidding. Yeah, I can see that happening. Tanisha Woodward said, ladies always look stunning. Needless to say, I lost that argument. I continued to iron. Steam, press, press, iron. Press, press, iron. Miranda and I are in the basement of my mother's house. The boys are with their grandmother. Miranda continues talking. Do you realize that older women never smile? That they always look angry and mean? I think they've forgotten how to do it. This world's gotten them so pissed off, working two jobs, supporting a family without a man, having to do everything and have everyone dependent on them. I ain't smiling. I know, she says softly, but I'm going to make sure that changes. Your life isn't over because you picked the wrong guy or stumbled along the way. I wanted to interrupt Miranda. I wanted to debate her. But what argument could I use? I couldn't claim ignorance. I couldn't say love was blind. Kevin had a reputation long before I met him. I might have been a little naive, but I wanted him. I just knew he changed for me. I then thought cynically, I'm young and I don't have one reason to smile at the world. Every day I'm scared senseless that I'll mess up. I'm raising two little human beings. I never had to take on such a big responsibility before. I've got to teach them everything, protect them from everything. They're small and they don't know nothing. I flip my uniform shirt over and begin to iron the back of the garment. Steam, press, press, iron. Press, press, iron. Life wasn't exactly fun. I still hadn't talked to the kid's father, but the rumors were hitting the streets about my ex. His new lady friend wasn't the only chick he was seeing. According to the neighborhood, Kevin was talking to a young girl just out of high school. I scoffed. That's just nasty. He'll date anything. I paused. What was that saying about me? I've been just as gullible. I'd taken one look at his pretty face and long, lean body, and bam, I was hooked. Love at first sight. It taken me two babies a handful of empty promises, and a walk out by him to finally come to my senses. I hoped it wouldn't take the young girl that long. I prayed she didn't become pregnant with Kevin's next child. The thought hurt a little. I still had feelings for him, buried feelings that I needed to get rid of and fast. I slowly came out of my daze and spoke, Maybe it's hard for black women to smile. What's there to grin about? I'm sure it's hard getting old and being single. Never had to do that. But it doesn't take much to smile. It's not difficult. When you smile, it brightens your face. It sends a message out to the world that you're friendly. It invites people to talk to you, show interest in you, date you. Let me guess. This is coming from your favorite YouTuber, I asked half-teasingly. Miranda nodded. 
Too many older women have let past relationships ruin their chances of future happiness. They've lost themselves in work and raising kids. They've gotten comfortable without a man. So what do you suggest? I mean, what does Miss Tanisha Woodward say? Before the question left my mouth, Miranda was spewing out answers. Hit the gym. Lose weight. Seek professional counseling. You've got to get your mind and body right. Once that's done, invest in your femininity. Get a new wardrobe. Wear makeup. Act like a lady. And please consider dating outside your race. Go out with a white guy? That's her answer? Miranda shot me a dirty look. Ain't you listening to me? I said a whole bunch of stuff before I suggested interracial dating. And the last time I checked, Philly's got all kinds of men living here. Watching Miranda, I tease. Your ghetto slang is showing. You can't be using ain't while leveling up. Shut up, girl, she smirked. I'm serious. Black women should be strong and independent. But we should also have the option to marry and be happy. We shouldn't be forced to raise our families without the help of a man. We shouldn't forget how to smile. I know, I said softly, but it's hard out here for a single mother.